two, What's up, Too Lit Crew? It's your girl, Kaden Too Lit, and today I will be doing a solo video. So today's video, I will be testing out the Lava Slimy Goop Slime Kit. So this is my first time trying one of these slime kits, so let's get into the video. And it says you can add sand and a toy dinosaur, so let's get it. Let's open this comment down below if you guys have ever tried a slime kit before. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of hard to get out. It's like tape. Okay, and here are the two dinosaurs and the metal. So we got this little green dinosaur and then we have this little white and gray dinosaur. So this one has like Stripes on his back. This one has lumpy things on his back. So we're gonna put the dinosaurs off to the side. Oh, it's falling. Okay, that one doesn't know how to stand. Okay, so here's our instructions. So let's read our instructions first. So I think you have to do some measuring in here. So that's why I call the instructions. Why should it just be regular slime? Follow these four rules. Do not eat slimy goop, brown slime, or any of the ingredients. We, you know what? I do not care about the rules. Let's just get into the video. So. Okay, guys, I am back. We have to do a little bit of measuring and reading instructions, but we got to all figure it out. So, I am going to need to put a spoonful of this tetraborac into this bowl of water. So, let's cut this open. There's a lot of clumps, so I'm going to try to not get the clumps and get, like, I'm just going to take all the clumps out because it's going to, if I get clumps, it'll be too hard. So, let's measure a spoonful of this. Okay, that's about a spoonful. We're going to put it in here. Then I'm going to mix it up until it's all dissolved. So I don't know if it's going to take a while or not. Because I've experienced with this before and it does take a couple minutes. So we're just going to keep on mixing that up until it's finished. And I'll be right back when it's done mixing. Okay, I am done mixing. It's not fully dissolved, but I think that should be fine. So now I'm supposed to add just about, kind of like a little bit less than half of this bottle of glue. So let's pop this open. Jeez. I always hate it when they put these type of tops. It's kind of hard to take off. So let's just put a little bit of this glue in here. I don't really know how much it's half. But I think that should be enough. I think that yeah. that should be enough. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put the glue off to the side. And then I'm supposed to mix, in, mix it with this mixing tool. So I don't know if I'm supposed to use this end. But I just use the fatter end. So let's mix this into our water. It's getting kind of stringy. It's watery glue. It's pretty funny looking. Okay, I got that all mixed up. Now we're supposed to add this whole thing of sand. So this is like reddish, pinkish sand. So we just add all of that and then you mix it together. It's kind of clumpy. So you can like feel the lumps at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's like all the way at the bottom if you can see that. But like when it's like like this, you can't really see it. But like this, you can you can see it. Let's look at that. Okay, let's get back to the mixing part. So I gotta mix all this together, and it's turning pink as you can see, which is good because I love pink. That's my favorite color. I'm just looking at the bottom, looking at it. 
all staring up. Staring up. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Okay, I think that should be. That should be Gucci. Scoochie. Okay, so now we're supposed to add some of this little by little as our activator. So let's just add a little spoonful first. And it is already activating, as you can see. It is activating very, very quickly. So I do not think we will need the whole thing of this. Wow, it activates very quickly for some reason. Probably the quickest activating I have used before. So let's add a little bit more of that as our activator. So you can still see the sand at the bottom while I am mixing it. So I mix it, it's like bringing it together and it's like satisfying because it, it like kind of just flows down from the bowl. So let's add some more of our activator into this bowl. Uh, I think you're supposed to use most of the activator. I don't know. Well, what does this see? I'm just using a little bit because I don't want to over activate it. Because this is borax and I personally hate borax as activator. So I do not know how this is going to turn out. So before y'all finish watching the whole video, comment down below how you think this slime is going to turn out. Think it's going to be a yeah or a no? I'm not sure what you think, Daddy Too Lit. I don't know. It's supposed to look like a lava slime. and uh, It's supposed to look like this, but it's probably not going to look like that. You're going to need more borax. It's probably more, not going to look like solution. that. I'm just trying to not yeah. overactivate it. I think it. the directions is set to use the whole thing. But it's sure. coming out. I don't know. It's coming out. I mean, it's pretty much done yeah, by now. It's coming out. So I said I didn't want to overactivate it. So I think that's pretty much done. So let's go ahead and put it on the table. Move that to the side. Got our two dinosaurs. So let's, I don't know about this. I like the texture. It doesn't really feel like a slime. It's jiggly and it's like not mixed up fully, but it's okay. It doesn't stretch, but I think the thing I like most about it is its texture. You want to come over here and feel it? You good. No, I'm good. Like, um, let me see. So I can feel it. Oh, uh, yeah, it feels funny. Yeah, it feels It doesn't really funny, feel like slime, though, but... I, I don't know how... It's different. It, it doesn't I stick, think, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, because usually slime would be sticky. But I'm going to give this maybe like a... A two, just because it's not really stretchy, clicky, or and it just breaks apart. So I'm gonna give that a two. Two out of what? Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Yeah. So. What would happen if you add more borax? Uh, solution. Solution. I don't know. Should we test it out? Might as well. Okay. Let's add some more. Just a little bit more. Cause I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Cause that was a whole spoonful right there. Nope. Still the exact same way. I think that even made it worse. Well, that's just breaking apart. That just made it worse. Noodle arms. Noodle arms. Okay, so that didn't work out very well, but that's okay. So now I'm going to try something. I'm going to try putting the rest of this glue in here and just activate it like that and see how it turns out. If it turns out like a slime or not. So let's try to get the rest of this glue out. Okay, I think that's good enough because I'm not just about to sit here waiting for the glue to come out. So we got our mixing tool. It's all dirty now because of the other slime. What have you done? Okay, let's let's
let's start activating this. Let's wait. Let's mix it in a little bit. Let's mix it in. Okay, let's start activating this line. I don't know if it's because there was too much borax or it wasn't mixed fully. If that's why it turned out like that. But, I mean, the borax does work pretty good. It's just like the texture and stuff that doesn't make it very well. Cause you see how it activates like right when you oh snap right when you put the borax in the glue. So let's put some more borax in there, and I think we should be Gucci after this. Yeah. So this is all activated. I think I act over activated a little bit. So let's move that ball to the side, and this is like. This is probably even worse than that one. It's all, it's sticky and it's like, you you can't even stretch it. You can't stretch it at all. So I give this a, a one out of, out of 10. I give this a one out of 10. Let me try adding a little bit more borax to it and see if that will do anything. Cause it is kind of sticky. Probably won't do anything, but it's worth to try. Yeah, this is just hard and what is that? It's not slime. But let's get our sandy slime and put our dinosaurs in there. Got one dinosaur. I'm going to name him Rex. I'm going to name this one Bob. Bob. So this, this one's name is Rex. This one's name is Bob. We got Rex and Bob, two best dinosaur buddies, two best dinosaur buddies, 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 until one day Rex decides to betray Bob in his sleep. So Rex gets out of his home and he buries Bob. So he says, yeet, yeet, he says, yeet. Yeet. And he says, I'm out of here. And that is the end of Bob and Rex. Well, that is it. So Rex is still in here. Just woke up from his sleep. It's like, why was I buried? Where has Rex? Wait, no, this is Bob. Why was I buried? Where has Rex gone? So he's like, eh, I don't care. So he just goes back to sleep like that. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Rex and Bob. Ah! Okay, well, that is the end of our video today. So make sure you go follow us on our Facebook and Instagram account at KDW2Lit. Make sure to follow my Roblox account at Kaden to it, capital K, capital L. And make sure to comment down below what you thought of this slime. And they can hit us on Twitter too at KW2Lit. Yeah, make sure to follow us on Twitter too at KW2Lit, like you said. My musically. Yeah, Kaden to it. Kaden to it. So pretty much all my stuff is just Kaden to it. Yeah, you can follow her on musically. And also stream our new single. Oh, yeah. Make sure to go hit like on our new single, Every Day We Lit, on YouTube, and on Spotify. Yeah. And on Spotify. Yeah. Sure. iTunes. Make sure to go hit it up and like it. iTunes, Amazon. And make sure you subscribe, press that post notification button, and give us a smash. Smash this like button. And... We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to keep it too lit. Every day we lit. Every day we lit. Every day we lit. Every day we lit.